You're the man behind a lot of different ventures, you know what I'm saying? Just talk about a little, a bit of the, the ventures that you have going on. Um, right now, you know, I'm a owner of um, a paper called Swag News. Swag know, News, okay. Real International, um, you know, based in L.A., started in Toronto. Yes, yes. You know, but it's all over. I got it, in, I got it all over, man. I'm into the airports because I'm always moving. Right. You know, um, everybody would say, are you a rapper? <laughs> You know, because I, I guess I had that look of a rapper, yeah. but um, I said, no, nah, I'm not a rapper. So we just did a t-shirt, got a tattoo first, did the t-shirt, then, you know, I was managing Mad Links on BET. Right. He was on 106 The Park, a rap city, and every day he wore the shirt. I changed the whole face of direction of, of Canadian. Drake was in my hands for a minute, and, um, you know, I just... I just publicly don't, people publicly don't really know what I do unless you sit in the boardroom. Right. Unless you're my lawyer or, you know, we doing business. How, how you gonna know what I'm doing? Because I'm on TV like that, right? I even put myself on TV because, you know, I, it was too real and all my content was, you know, you know, exclusive, like one-on-ones with Max B, right. before Max B was big. I'm just really in tune with, you know, everywhere. Of course. And right now, Toronto has a chance you know, to be heard on, you know, you know, the internet was it wasn't around before. Right. You know, the biggest rapper in the game, Drake from Canada. Yeah. So, you know, I formed that concept. I just wasn't here to, you know, to babysit the project. So the projects, you know, it, it, it's a it's a baby that everybody wanted to get their hands involved. Right. They, they're probably the biggest music guys out of Canada right now that came from because it's not even hip hop. Right. It's just music. Yeah. And then when Drake paid attention to it, then it became a little hip hop. Right. So, you know, it's the biggest movement in Canada right now. You don't gotta be, you know, gangster business, right? Because gangster shit right now is, I won't say it's dead, because it's still gangster shit going on. But just in the music business, nobody wants bad people around. Right. You gotta have good people, good internet kids, good bloggers, good writers, good camera guys. So Blox was just a good guy to me. So, you know, I like that type of business. You know, I don't want to sleep in the nighttime. I don't want a, a rapper that's running around, he's going to jail, because you go to jail, you can't cross the border, you're done. That's true. So, and then I like his music, you know, and I like, you know, that he got a family so he can be focused, you know. Right. You got to promote yourself. Right. If I had a job, I'd be picking up Puff Daddy right now. <laughs> you that's know, true. I would have been Dan Dash, I would have been Irv Guy, you all that. I just never wanted to work for no record company in New York or nothing like that. So right. my whole thing was always to be independent, okay. you know, be bossy, man. I mean, I was 17, I brought the whole Wu-Tang Clan to Canada, you know, rest in peace, old dirty, that's, that's my dog. Sure. So, you know, I, I'm just like, um, you know, I don't call, I don't like words like pioneers or nothing like that, because then you're old. Right. I'm still brand new, my swag is, you know, over the top right now, so. If you ain't getting 10,000, you're not popping. <laughs> That's true. What do they? What do, what do people have to do? What do you think they really have to do in order to build to get to that level? I mean, you gotta have good management, good business. You can't have your homeboy. You could even have your homeboy. Right. You know, because it's different now. The internet. Yeah. Before, you know, you had to know names in the game, and the game, the names had to know you. Yeah. Now, all the internet. You know, look at you know Tyler the Creator. Look at um all these other guys that pop. Look at Wiz Khalifa. You know, I, we interviewed Wiz Khalifa in our, in our swag newspaper. Yeah. Five years ago, when he had no tattoos and a five X T-shirt <laughs> coming from Pittsburgh, so you right. know, look at that. Look at Drake. You know, just look at these guys. Rap beside a Waka Flocka, right. and he got a song called "Do for the Ratchets." Okay. It's big all over, you know, LA radio, right. and you know, Game called him on the phone, Snoop called him on the phone, and did a remix for free. Because when you hot, you know, other rappers going to say, yo, I, I need to hop on that. That's true. Now he got Tyga on, he got Meek Mill, so, you know, then I got another kid named Rocket. He's, you know, he, signed, he was signed to Jeezy, right. and he didn't work out, and now he's independent. Okay. And Rick Ross, he wants to sign him, but, you know, Rick Ross shouts him out some songs too. You right. know what I'm saying? But that don't mean Rick Ross is signing him. True. It's an option, right. but independently and, 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 and no one, you know, that... The game is use that internet, yeah, and and that that's the streets right now. Go to swagnews.com and never do swag with one G. All right, you know you gotta have two G's on it. Yeah, yeah. 
Um, swagnews.com, and then you can go see whatever you want to see on there. You know, it's 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 all information.